Hello and welcome to the No Name Prayer Podcast. I am your host, Monica. Let us begin our daily devotional from the Be Still book. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, verse 2. For each man will have to bear his own load. Galatians 6, verse 5. A burden is something oppressive or worrisome. It's hard to be a it's hard to bear a burden alone. By contrast, a load is an amount that can be carried at one time. Loads are made up of the things that we are expected to do for ourselves. We are to help one another with burdens, but be responsible for our own loads. When do we get into trouble? When we find ourselves either carrying others' loads or refusing to compassionately help others carry their burdens. Many of us have been in a relationship with a controlling person. Establishing boundaries with such a person can, person can be scary. This is because neither option is very appealing. We either set the boundary and risk losing the relationship or remain imprisoned to this, to his or her demands. God's plan is for us to be loved enough by Him and others, not to feel isolated, even when we're alone. We need to know in the depth of our being that we are loved and not alone in order to have the courage to set boundaries. We were created to love, and when we fail to love, we fail to measure up to our greatest potential. See John 13 verse 35. Difficulties arise when we equate love with meeting every need we encounter. Even Jesus didn't meet every need or heal every disease, and he is God. We all have limits, and as a result, we need to discern what God is asking us to do and what we are tempted to do out of guilt, fear, or other wrong motives. If we can't say no, then we'll there will come a point when we are unable to say yes to something God wants us to do. There are only so many hours in a day. When we fill up on God's love, we are less apt to make decisions based on the fear of losing relationships or of making someone angry. God fills us up through the indwelling Holy Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 we are free to love boundaries give us the space to make decisions based on freedom and love dear lord in which of my relationships do i lack healthy boundaries help me to discern which of my actions are motivated by fear and which are motivated by genuine love amen Father God, we pray for discernment. We pray that you help us see our relationships with others the way you see them. Show us where there is love and show us where there is unhealthy and unhealthy bond and unhealthy relationship. We ask you once you show us that you give us the courage and the wisdom to handle it correctly in jesus name we pray amen i want to say thank you for listening thank you for being here i appreciate you thank you for just for being here i am just thankful and i'm grateful that you're here that you're listening and that we are doing this together Uh, I'm saying a special prayer for every listener Um, and I pray that you find peace that you find God's love in your life that you see his hand in your life that you see where he where he is making himself shown sometimes we don't see it sometimes we don't recognize sometimes sometimes we're so focused on what we don't have or what we are not feeling or what somebody else is doing that we don't we don't see all the great things that God is doing in our life so 
my prayer for you today is that you see those things because i am pretty sure that will bring a big smile to your face and once you see it say thank you lord have a great day pray for me that i will pray for you